What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you a few commonly used iCloud bypass tools and tell you from my opinion, the best one suited for the older devices supporting iOS 12.4.4. These are the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, the 5S, the iPad Mini 2, and the iPad Air first generation. Again, what's common and unique in these four devices is that they all support iOS 12.4.4. For some reason, Apple continues to sign iOS 12.4.4, although they have already released iOS 12.4.6 and 12.4.7. What's also best and unique about the iOS 12.4.4 is that after you jailbreak and bypass it, the device will fully support untethered, meaning you can restart and turn it off or go battery drained and have no issues at all after the bypass. You don't have to pay any paid tools online or download some paid software to do that. It's all free with the iOS 12.4.4. Before we start, I'd like to feature this guy, Unlocking Tech Secrets. He has been really helpful in giving me tips to increase my subscriber count. Subscribe. Yes, that's his intro music. So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you the four different tools that we're using for the bypass. And guys, this will only work after you have jailbroken your device with CheckRain if you're using Mac and BootRain if you are using Windows. So I have here the four different tools, the iPass code, the shift key, the iCloud bypass, and the sliver tool. All these are amazing and absolutely great tools if you know how to configure them correctly for them to work in your Windows PC. So let's go ahead and talk about them one by one. First tool that doesn't require too much system dependency is the shift key. For this tool, however, you would need to download the Net Framework application if you're in Windows 8 or lower. Not sure if this works in Windows 10, but I have a Windows 8 build, so, so far, works perfectly fine as long as you have downloaded the Net Framework application. So to download that here, yeah, I provided the link also in the video description below. You have to open this link, put it down here, and go to this website. For this website, choose the most updated Net Framework version that is required by your operating system. In my case, Net Framework 4.8. There are two options to download. Please select the one that says Developer Package. Now for the second tool, which is the iPass code and similar tools that on under this user interface usually requires you to install two applications that would be the Python and the Potty2. So you can download in the description below and that comes already with the Python installer, the 64 to 32 bit. But for the Potty2, you can go to this website to download it. I've also provided it. The same requirements would be needed if you are using the Sliver tool. So I don't have to talk much about the Sliver tool. Sliver tool for me works best under the Mac environment. Now the other tool here is the iCloud Bypass. So far I didn't have any issues with it, but yes, it also requires you to install the Python and the Potty tool. So do install them before you use these tools. I'm also showing here IPSW Me website where you can download the IPSW 12.4.4. Again, as I've said earlier, it's the most stable when it comes to bypass and jailbreaking for these four devices. So while Apple continues to sign these firmware, continue to use and download them if you are bypassing these four devices. As you can see here in the website, it shows that all these four devices still are being signed for iOS 12.4.4. So lastly, I'm going to show you my iTunes version, which is currently under 12.10.3.1. And it works fine and well when restoring my devices to the 12.4.4 iOS. You can also use 3U tools, but for my experience, I didn't feel the need to do that. So that's it, everyone. Hope this video is helpful. And if you have, I'd be glad to respond to them. Thank you for watching.